Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been leaving in the dark. I've been kind of consumed by this, this new shop project that I've been working on. Uh, if you see behind me, this is a new space that I'm trying to build out for our YouTube channel and to uh, kind of concentrate on some new projects in the after hours, just a little more controlled environment. Uh, we can control the lighting and be a little more comfortable in the, in the winter and in the summer when it gets hot and cold. Uh, so a little, little backstory with this, this area, uh, when we bought our property a year ago, or, uh, about three years ago, this, this space was all, it was just full of trash, dirt floor. If you look here, this is what it looked like when we bought it. We had to clear out all the trash with a couple 30 yard, uh, dumpsters and got rid of most of it, but some of it's still around here. But anyways, last year we, uh, had this slab poured by Hensley's Concrete over here in McDowell County. Uh, if you need any concrete done, he does an awesome job as you can see. Uh, well, I guess you can't really see it because it's covered and everything, but uh, very good work. We did uh, six inches thick, 5,000 PSI, uh, mainly to support this lift, and we drive a forklift over it pretty often, so we just wanted to make sure it was gonna be strong enough and not crack. Another thing we had to do, if you look at this pole right here, there were four of these poles that were pretty rusty. Three of them were so bad that they had failed and uh, one actually collapsed. Actually, I've got that one right here. You can see this, this was actually holding up the main I-beam that's holding up my entire floor. And you can actually see that I-beam right up here. It runs the full length of the, the floor and it holds up the whole floor down the middle. And that thing failed to the point where um, I actually jacked the floor up with a 30-ton uh, a jack uh, spanned over an I beam. Here's a little picture over here. Uh, when I was jacking up on the floor, I actually stretched that pole out about half an inch to an inch and, and got to the point where you can actually see these, these gaps in here. Before that, it was collapsed to the point where those gaps were actually closed. So um, very happy I replaced that. Behind me here, you see two 10 foot by 10 foot garage doors. They are uh, insulated to an R19 double sided skin. So if we're welding near it, a uh, weld spatter can hit it and not catch it on fire. Uh, we wanted to make sure it was an R19 to keep it nice and, nice and cool or warm in here. Keep that electricity bill down. In the walls here, we're using some rock wool insulation. We decided to go with that because since this is in a basement space, it can sometimes get a little damp on the other side of the wall. We're gonna try and run a dehumidifier over there as well as in here to keep that down. But even with temperature differences, you're gonna get condensation and uh, the rock wool does not grow any mold. It also uh, kills down a little bit of the sound and it's also uh, a little bit of a fire barrier since it doesn't burn. If you look over here behind me, all of this area is going to be a raised deck similar to what you see right here. except it's gonna extend all the way over that way and this is gonna be kind of a hangout area. The computers are gonna be there for, for modeling and, and designing. Uh, we'll have a racing simulator up there and some workbenches to do some more intricate things like electronics and whatnot, uh, a little more technical projects. And then over here, we'll have some workbenches and then uh, toolboxes, some more workbenches over here. And um, we'll go over that a little more in detail in the future, it's kind of it's like a super big mess right now, so I can't really give too much detail because it's like it's, everything's covered in junk. So um, I just wanted to do the uh, next video just so you can stay in the loop of what's going on around here. Hopefully we'll be making a lot more progress in the near future, so we'll keep you updated. Um, anyways, let's get to the little build. Uh, we, uh, we're doing mostly time lapses just to uh, save time as far as filming because it takes a lot of time to film and I'm just ready to get this done so that it's ready and closed in before it gets cold. So we can be in here working on projects and filming cool things rather than just framing an insulation. Here's the build, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks again for coming.
pretty well drywalled in. Uh, it's, it's pretty much finished, but there's a couple little spots I'll finish up tomorrow. Um, it's about 37 degrees on the other side of the wall, and it's about 50 degrees in here, even with a couple holes in the wall still. So it's already doing its job, and it's already really comfortable in here. I, I love it. Next thing to do on the list is finish this drywall, mud it, paint it. Uh, we've got to install a door here. There's actually a, a doorway right here that I haven't cut it back out of the drywall yet, but I need to finish that. Uh, right now there's just a, a foam flap over there keeping that cold on, on the other side. And then we need to run some better electrical because if you look up here, uh, all of our lights are running off of these uh, Edison sockets running to uh, regular electrical cord type plugs and um, it, it's not going to fly in the shop. So we're going to run new, new uh, conduit, new lights, and we'll film all that. Also, we've got to come back here and finish the, the deck area because it's still just dirt. So we'll be, we'll be building this deck and then finishing that out. Also a little bit of plumbing for a little bathroom we're gonna have in here. There's gonna be a staircase that comes up from the, uh, the first floor down to the, the basement here. And we'll be documenting that process as well. We have to pour a couple footers because we're gonna have to cut some of these floor joists and support the floor joists when we cut the opening for the stairwell. So we'll be documenting all that too. I guess that about wraps up this uh, shop build part one. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully we didn't bore you too much with all the repetitive time lapses. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe. Uh, please feel free to comment below if there's anything you'd like to see changed or anything you'd like to see in future videos. I think it's closed in enough that we might work on a project before we continue building. We'll see. Um, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.